Hi, I'm Phil from Maxu and we're here today on a beautiful day at the Maxu factory and we're lucky enough to have a visit from Neil Greentree of Team QSW who's also brought his very interesting truck with him and he's going to show us around it. Hi morning. Phil. Morning. Hi, right, uh, yeah, this, we're Team QSW and uh, I'm Neil, uh, one of the team riders and uh, this bad boy travels around Europe uh, competing in uh, all the events and endurance races throughout the UK and uh, Europe. Uh, so. Do you want to have a look around it? Sure, absolutely. Okay, well first of all, it's 26 foot long, it's triaxle, uh, it's five tons and it carries everything we need uh, to, to live, to, to eat, to keep ourselves clean and to compete uh, wherever we are. And, and this basically, we must have it so it can stand in the middle of nowhere and give us everything that we need. Sure. So first of all, kit wise, come around the back. Okay, so first of all, we're a little low on uh, what we've got, but this basically has all of my uh, boards uh, which I compete with, uh, and these are just mine. We normally take three riders with us to it to each event, so uh, so this rack will be absolutely full. And then on the right-hand side here, we store our sails, which are stored in here at the minute because we're just before the season. But they will normally hang inside there, ready uh, ready to go, so that at a moment's notice, as the wind changes at the events, we can change our equipment to suit. The, the racing conditions. Uh, so uh, basically uh, around about £40,000 worth of kit is kept in the back here uh, and uh, so and can be kept so that we can use it at any point at short notice. Uh, but we also live in this vehicle Phil so do you want to come and have a look at the most important bit? Yeah absolutely, <laughs> the living accommodation. Okay so so how many, how many guys can you get staying in here at one time? Okay, well, this is basically kind of where we uh, we, we live almost all the time. Uh, we just put the table up, and sit here, and uh, and basically this can keep three people. So we've got a bunk bed here which comes down. Uh, we also have a double bed here uh, which gets very cozy with the riders, I'm but sure. it allows us to. Uh, it's heated. It's got hot water. It's got a shower. We've got Wi-Fi access so that if we're on a beach, we can. Uh, tap into people's Wi-Fi up to five miles away uh, and obviously we have the Maxview Seeker system uh, which gives us our TV facility sure. uh, anywhere in uh, well I say North Europe right the way down to the southern part of France. Absolutely I noticed you've got the TV on here so who looks after that who operates that? Well here, here we have it this is this is the uh, uh, the, the system and what we love about the MaxView system and why we chose it uh, was because it's a one button operation. That's now what right. we've got to bear in mind is uh, we're windsurfers, we're not techie guys. So we need something very simple to come in, press one button and it goes up, finds the satellite, it's tuned in and we get on with watching our TV and that's what the Seeker system gives us. It certainly does. So you're happy with that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. It's it's all hardwired in, uh, and uh, so all very neat, very out of sight, uh, and uh, so we can just tell the guys this. I think this is a proper trick little unit. This is absolutely superb. Uh, but it uh, it will just go on the wall there, and so it's safely. Hold on, once we get it on there, he says. There we go. Uh, and uh, and we just press one button, and then from there we just use the remote control here just sure. to, to to select our different channels. But I think the most the, the most beneficial thing is uh, Phil is because the the system and we can see it just up through the uh, skylight. Uh, it stores down, so when we start the engine to go, again, it automatically goes down. So, although we might forget to do things because we're not particularly techy with the, all these stuff, it does the thinking for us. And reliability, it's fantastic. Uh, uh, without a doubt, bear in mind when we're using the system, it's got to be 20, 30, 40 knots, because that's what we're racing in. Now, that's conditions that you guys hate, because obviously mm. with the dishes, I guess it's moving. But well, we've done a lot of work on that, because obviously there are other systems out there, but we have done a lot of work on the Seeker at the original design stage to take out what's called backlash, which is the dish right. moving. Because obviously if it's doing that, then you're going to be losing the picture. But I'm sure you'll have found, if, you, if you're in those windy conditions, that with the Seeker, it doesn't do that. It, it stays in I've one never position. lost a picture. And I have, uh, if you watch the tweet feed, uh, I've always tweeted when we've been out in once in 50 knots, and we, we always come back, so when we get changed, we then rehydrate and watch some TV. We have never lost signal. So without a doubt, and I've used a few different systems on, on this, this is the best one. And I didn't know you designed into it that backlash thing. We have. But it works. Good. good. So there you go. So that's our system. This is our home. And uh, if you ever see us on the beach, just come and see us. Uh, and also, you know, full endorsement of the Seeker system is absolutely brilliant. Excellent. One other thing I wanted to say on the Seeker, just before we finish on that, was if you are going abroad, which obviously you guys do, yeah. um, it's very important that you can update it because frequencies are changing, satellites are changing. Very, very simple to update the seeker. 
um, just with a memory stick with information off our website, which I'm sure you're aware of, but you probably haven't had to do yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Lovely. Good.